Because I don't want you to become second or third and last citizen. Never. When we came here, 40, 45 years ago, our English was not perfect. We speak the is to become R, and the R become we, and we become was. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> but we managed to make something. We were not shy to fail. We were not shy to make a mistake. But we learn from our mistakes. And we make success story from our failures. Nobody can make a success story forever. We fail to succeed, and we succeed to fail, then we fail to succeed again. And we keep failing to succeed. Remember the story of Muhammad Ali? He won the World Championship, heavyweight, boxing, three times. He never gave up. He never gave up at mid-30s, and he won it because he had a message to deliver to humanity. I am the Muslim. When people tarnish Islam, should shine with your Islam. When people create Islamophobia, you should create what we call it positivophobia. You know positivophobia? Come here. <laughs> Nothing is for free. Come on. What do I mean by positivophobia? <laughs> Positivo phobia. I'm going to challenge the hashtaggers. Attack hashtag. Attack hashtag. Attack hashtag. That's my word. Your word is hashtag because you are following others. But my word is tag hashtag because I'm creating my own word. You have to be creative. What do I mean by positive phobia? Tell them. After this long weekend of training and living with the people, huh, to become a leader, should not become shy of answering a wrong answer or right answer. I, I guess the opposite of Islamophobia is spreading positive messages about Islam.
mana in action. That's the thing. So what do you want to be when you when you grow? Okay, now are you ready for Okay. So coming back to the first point, which is you are a leader. You are. You are. You are. You are. You have to believe in it. After you have to make all the necessary steps to become a leader, then people can follow you. Leader does not follow a flow of others. Leaders always create a flow so others can follow them. Lead, leaders do not follow the flow of others, but create the flow so others can follow them positively. When they say Islamophobia as a system, what's, what's the name? What's your name? Zahra. Zahra. Zahra, she answered it perfectly. I sent a positive message. This is something I wrote maybe 15, 20 years ago. Positivophobia. And they gave it to a psychiatrist to review it and put the terminology right for myself. Thank you, Zahra. And thank you, Mr. Leader. So, we, are, we have talent. If you love football, you love Cristiano Ronaldo, maybe. You love Mosala. You love Mosala. You love Fuels. Money! 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 Okay, okay. You know, you know, you, you know, you mentioned these names. You mentioned these names. But you have to understand how they became legend. <laughs> Brother with the glasses, ask him to come to me. This one. Come on, come on, show your talent. What of you? And you are here. Come on, brother. Come on. No, 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 not you. Not you. <laughs> no, you, you, you. No, no, no. I'm behind you. I'm behind you. Come on, don't be shy. Because we can share the job. Come on, come on, this way, this way, this way, this way. This way. This way. This way. This way. What was the job? Did I slap for you? Did I slap? What's your talent? You have a talent? You have to discover yourself. I'm talking about those five or six super players. I was watching a match, a part of a match yesterday about the first match of whatever it is with Manchester United. 25 years ago, or 20 years ago. You know his name? Yeah. 16. He was at the age of 16. And he discovered himself. Even his mother would not be able to buy a pair of shoes for him. But he knew what he wanted. And he made it. And he became a legend. You have to discover your talent. What's your talent? I do go, I do horse riding. Okay, okay, any other talent? Uh, yeah, uh, I do like writing with you. Seven. 
And they decided when I come back to stay in a place where Muslims are in Europe, because Yugoslavia. Before the division of Yugoslavia to Bosnia, Serbia, and others. During this year, two major incidents happened. One of them was the massacre in Hamad, which is a city in Syria, where the regime killed about 30 or 40,000 people. Nobody knew about it. The second one, the massacre in Sabra Shatila Khan in 1982 as well, in Lebanon, in Beirut. Well, after the Israeli invasion and the coalition with the Maronite, the Palestinians were killed, massacred. This was discovered by a French journalist who reported it. So it became like a trend. The third one, my visit to Yugoslavia to discover something called Bosnia. I never knew that Bosnia was Bosnia, Bosnia was Bosnia, and became Bosnia now. This was 10 years before the conflict or the ethnic cleansing of the Muslims in Bosnia by the other groups. This was a wake-up call for me. I never planned it. I just was going for a holiday in Yugoslavia to enjoy myself. But when I went, I, I met some young students from the university. They told me about Ali Aiza Begovic, the late president of Bosnia, and the other Muslim tortured in prison. In 1983, famine in East Africa, Eritrea, and Tigray came, we wanted to do something. We did not know what to do. January 1984, a friend of mine and myself started. You know how to start? No money. No office, no address, no organization, just walking from door to door, street to street, even no office, no telephone, no fax, nothing. And the first donation was 20 pence for a man child at the age of nine. 20 pence was December 1983, after coming back or visiting Sudan. Are you in Sudan? I'm from Sudan. I can make you from Sudan. Oh. <laughs> huh? Anyone from Sudan? Come on. Sudanese, come Sudanese. Ewa. Zor, Zor, Zor. Which part of Sudan? Khartoum. What's your name? Tell them your tab. What you love most? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I love playing basketball. Yeah. Basketball. 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 Have you heard of Hakim? Hakim was the one. Hakim, yeah, was the. Uh, he's, he's living in Solihar. Hakim is in Solihar. And he can go and find this one. No, Hakim. Yeah, yeah. Be like that. Can you jump? Yeah. Can we ask you? Hakim the dream. Yeah, Hakim the dream. Thank you. Sudan and Sudanese taught us a lot and made Islamic belief to be Islamic belief. We are indebted to the Sudan and to the Sudanese people for the start of this movement, for a global movement. But there was no organization at that time, 1983 or 84, in the whole West. But it became, and after that Muslim aid came, human appeal came, Muslim hands came, and everybody came, alhamdulillah. But the start was extremely simple. You know the champions of Islamic belief in 1984, 5 and 6 were people, young people, in secondary school and universities. Can both of you come here, please? Well, you go to university or go to secondary school? <laughs> and they are leaders. Huh? Primary school. <laughs> I can see that. I can see that. It was very good. Yeah, you tell me. 
I can embroider. Very good. I like making cake. I'm not going to leave this room and let each one of us believe that he has a talent or she has a talent. Allah did not create us just for nothing. And the talent that we have will enable us to become change makers. Don't look at the legend and say, oh my God. No. Say, may Allah help them, but I would like to be better than them. I must become better than them. When I said in the 80s, we did not have any facilities, no telephone mobile, no telephone in the office. We used to walk it. Walk, 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 walk. We didn't have cars. We didn't have social media. We didn't have internet. We didn't have email. Nothing. Writing by hand. Even our design for the leaflets was by sticker. Letter set. We're doing it by hand. Even my doctor visit when I was submitting it, it was by hand. I did the photograph, the photography myself. I developed it, printed it, and stuck it in the, in the, what do you call it, in the thesis, and they failed. <laughs> of course, I have to fail, as I told you. So I tell you about the story of my, uh, my family. It was about spider bifida and Annie. Come on, Annie. Because she's a doctor, she will tell you. Where are you going? I didn't tell you, indeed. <laughs> come on, Annie. Oh, very good, come on. You go. Come on, come this, this side. Tell them what's fine and good and then sit on your It's fine and good are the children who was born with a sack at the back. Oh, there's another lady. Oh, <laughs>
brothers who are sleeping. The gratitude in this thesis was to Allah. Was what? Who said all the verses of creation of man in three pages. People write a gratitude in one line to my wife, to a dog, to father, to whatever you call it. But at that time, because I was one of those foreigners, don't know the language, the culture, I wrote, I wrote three pages about the creation of man from the Quran. See how was strong the message? I said, the first part of my talk is we are talented. The second part will never die because the people who have a message will never die. And you will never die because each and every one of you will have a message to deliver to humanity. They didn't look at the three pages. Never. They look at the subject, the medical subject, the data itself. And you know what? Three pages from the Quran. At the bottom, I said, Allah, the year, and no publisher. Go and find it in the Quran. How confident we were at that time to put our message huh, and to put our future at the edge of the cliff. And when a professor sat down with me to correct my English. He told me, what is all this uh, Quran? You know what was my answer? And, yes. Come on. You know what was my answer? He will tell you what my, was my answer. What was my answer? To the professor. What was my answer? I'm not sure. There's nothing to be corrected. There's nothing to be corrected. Very good. I told him, I told him, sister, okay, it is a scientific knowledge. It is what? Do you want me to remove it or not? He said, keep it. He cannot conquer my argument because I'm talking about science and technology in 1991. While I was failing my degree on the linguistic, on the referencing. When you are confident in your data, in your research, in yourself as well, in your deed, you can do what others can follow you and make them to follow you. You know what else I did? What's your name? That's it. Ah, the sword. Subhanallah. Don't cut me, please. <laughs> you know what else I did? Father Subhanahu wa ta'ala? I discovered the first man or the first scientist. Who described spina bifida and the encephaly? They used to call him Bukasas. Where's Salah? Bukasas. Salah's name is Bukasas now. But Abu Qasim called him Bukasas. And they discovered that Bukasas was Abu Qasim, a Zahrawi from Zahra, a town near Cordoba in Andalusia. And he is the one who described Spina Bifida six, five hundred years before you. I checked his name. He deserves to be mentioned today. And this is what we have done in the medical school of Birmingham University. We sponsored ten seats in a theater called Wolfson Theater. And they put all the names of the great scholars in medicine and science. And if you go to Watson Theater, anybody from Birmingham in this medical school? Huh? Ta'ala hana. Ta'ala hana. Ta'ala. Ana ba'atrak in the video of Barak. No, no. Ta'ala hana. In the name. Where are you from? Oh. Oh, it's the name, inshallah. All the talk is about you. <laughs> no option center in the chief name. You know the old uh, medical uh, library, Barnes yeah. Library. Yeah. If you go there on the left, mm -hmm. theater is there. Yeah. You go for the uh, first ten seats. Yeah. Did, you, did you go there? Yeah, I'm not missing. Eh? Yeah. Yeah. 